hi guys welcome you again to another interesting news of course we've been hearing about the continuous detention of Mazin Amdekano and the current deteriorating health now it has just been said by the Nigerian House of Rep Deputy Speaker Kalu saying that we are working underground to secure a pub leader in Amdekano's release so we are doing everything possible to secure the release of Mazin Amdekano from detention for him to be able to get himself medical care. What is your take to this? Welcome you again to Everyday Affairs. Welcome you again to another interesting news. We would like you to share comments as you enjoy the full details of the news. According to the news, the Deputy Speaker House of Representative Honorable Benjamin Kalu says efforts are ongoing to release the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, in Amdekano from detention. Sarah reporters reported on December 15, 2023, that the Supreme Court is a unanimous decision, you know, in a anonymous decision, held that Mr. Kano's extraordinary rendition from Kenya in June 2021 by the Nigerian government did not rob the trial court of jurisdiction to entertain its trial. The apex court consequently nullified the judgment of the court of appeal that order is released and said the trial court should continue with the case. Although the court held that the Nigerian government recklessly and unlawfully renditioned Kano from Kenya, it added that such an unlawful act should not strip any court of its power to proceed with the trial. Our law is that evidence illegality obtained is valid before the court. A violation of Mr. Kano's rights should, should have been, you know, by way of civil proceedings. This is not our law for now, the court declared. But speaking virtually on the Southeast Political Roundtable, a current affair radio programmer on Flu FM in Umaya on Tuesday, Kalu said that talks were ongoing to free Kanu. He, however, advised the youth of the Southeast region to stop the observance of the sit at home exercise, emphasizing that it's you know it scares many investors who want to contribute to the development of the region. Kalu who also spoke on the gains of the recently unveiled peace in Southeast Project in the then the local government area of Abia State asked those carrying arms to lay down their weapons and you know and join in the kinetic approach being canvassed by the initiative to end the insecurity and every other security challenges, including other agitations of the people. He called for support to enable the government of President Bola Tinubu to deliver optimally, saying that the president is interested in the development of the Southeast region. He said, he said that, pardon, we can't put all our programs and plans on social media is that is Kano is my brother is in the mix of what we are trying to do you know it's one of our agendas to ensure his release we want who wants their brother to be jailed nobody we are working on the ground there is a detailed strategy it's not by violence you can't coerce the government through violence. It has never worked and won't work. Let's be wiser. The wisdom is in peace. Let's quench the violence. That is what has been said by Kalu. That in Amdekano will definitely be released in no time. If it's chaotic, it won't work. Let's cool down. Let the man see that you have recognized he didn't contribute to locking him up and that he has not done anything to the southeast 
you should support him and give government you know you should support him and his government and not attack him i am standing firmly against the voice of violence preaching peace that is what i am here for the voice of peace will echo through the villa and he will come out mr president was happy with what happened in bende that the whole country can gather together to support this project our government does not lie in how many guns we carry on how many people we threaten not to come out on monday that is not the display of the strength of an evil man evil men are not lazy people who like sitting at home every you know from saturday to sunday to monday and not go to work only tuesday wednesday thursday and friday that's not us we are hard working we are rebuilders we are never down and we are you know we are never down and when we, even we are down we find a way to stand on our feet and raise our shoulders and rebuild again that is my call to our people we can bring you into the rebuilding that we are doing we can bring you into the reconciliation we can bring you in for you know we can bring you in for rehabilitation and the president of the federal republic of nigeria is interested in the Igbos. look at what he has done by giving us the chief of Nava staff which we never got in the last eight years did i just mention the Nava chief what about the minister of works mr dave omahe my good friend mr president gave the minister of works to an Igbo son that proved himself in eboi and he said come and build what you did in eboi in the entire nigeria starting from the five states of the southeast and the only way we pay the president back is to say you know there will be no work on monday look at what happened for the very first time 15 billion errors of you know 15 billion nairas of ebos that is 15 billion years pardon of Igbo extraction gathered in Bendy. this is to tell you that they are ready to bring their industry here they are ready to build factories that will employ you so why do you scare them away governments cannot do everything for you a brother who have money want to bring it back home some of them want to do it but you are scaring them away how long are we gonna continue to sell ourselves into fearing our people this is a new year this is a new era this is a new dawn and i urge you come and join us in your hands come and join our hands with us we will make you the leaders of this project don't lead those carrying guns come and lead those who will call the peace marshal let's give you the responsibilities let's give you a tax what did you take today we have just heard what has been said by carlo saying that they are working silently working underground to see the release of mazan abdukano come to reality also urging the evils to do what they have to do and stop the seat at home what is your take to this would like you to let us know your own point of view to this like to share it with us via the comment section on this that has been said whether you are working or you are not working underground what i know is Mazan and the Kano must come out this is a quick reaction from kenny michael saying that whether you people are working underground or not he must come out we would like you to share it with us via the comment section thank you guys for listening subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on the next news bye for now